Hey, how's it going guys? For today's video, we're going to be playing a YouTuber by the name of Rickster Ghost. And of course, his link will be in the description down below. Highly recommend you check him out. Just a little bit of information about him. He's like a comedy uh, MLB YouTuber. And again, I think he's funny. Great guy. Highly recommend you go check him out. Again, link will be in the description down below. The way today's game is going to work is going to be God Squad. So for us, we got Andrew McCutcheon still in left. Willie Mays in center. Tony Gwynn. Hornsby at third. Cal Ripken at short, Alan Marr at second, Frank at first, and of course, the almighty Ron Jeremy behind the dish. All right, so after some technical issues of constantly having to go to the friends list and reset the game, our lineup will consist of, again, we already know the players, but the way it's set up, Tony Gwen, then Alamar, Cal Ripken, Frank, Willie, Ron Jeremy, Hornsby, and then McCutcheon. So Rick has Lou, Brock, Slaughter, Frank, Willie Mays, Matt Williams, Hornsby, Pudge, and then the other Cal Ripken, not not the what the one I have, yeah, not the 99. He's got Mad Bum on the mound, so that Mad Bum being on the mound is actually really good for us, considering I think we only have one lefty in our lineup. All right, so he's got Lou Brock leading off. We're gonna go ahead and see how he adjusts to the fastball. We're gonna throw a first pitch fastball. He's a little late. O2 the count. We're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna see if we. Got him to sit back, and he did. He drove that one to center. This is the first time I've seen that Lou Brock card. Thank God he didn't get on base, because that is that is going to be a disgusting card to have to deal with when he's on. 0-2 the count. I haven't really seen quite a few of the cards he's using. The Lou Brock, the Slaughter, even the 87 Cal Ripken. Like I said, these are cards I haven't seen, so I'm really curious to see how they do against me. 1-0 the count to the absolute beast, Frank Thomas. We're going to throw that curveball he drills it to right field. He went with that pitch really well. So with two outs, he has a man on first. Oh, one, we're going to go ahead and throw that cutter again. That should be a good pitch. He's out on his front foot. It hits the bag and gets by our third baseman. Oh, my God. Not exactly the start you're hoping to see with a ball hitting the bag, but it is baseball. It's sometimes what's going to happen. Throw a slider over the plate. We missed our spot, but thankfully, that's going to be a routine fly ball to center field. Let's go do some damage and show them how many runs we can put up real quick. All right, so we got Tony Gwen up at the dish. We're facing Mad Boom. I'm expecting either a fastball inside or a cutter that maybe misses its location. We get a changeup. His third baseman makes an amazing stop of Willie Gun us. We beat it out. That was almost an absolutely amazing play from his third baseman. Alomar does what Alomar does, shoots it in the gap. We're going to go ahead and get a RBI double out of that. Maybe could have pushed it to a triple, but there's no need. Here is the car that I've been having a lot of fun with ever since I put him in my lineup, Cal Ripken. He started off slow, but has been an absolute beast since then. Cal. Oh, my God. He's all over that. No, no, no. He's not catching that. That's off the wall. I don't know why we weren't going right off the get-go. But we get ourselves another RBI double. 87 speed, even though he didn't leave the bag on time. Like I said, we get our RBI double. It is now 2-0. to zero. Frank gets it by. I'm pretty sure I just spit all over my mic. What the hell was that? All right, well. I think I just spit all over my desk, but we did get that single with Frank. We got first and third, no outs. Willie Mays, will he put us up five to zero early on? Willie, we just missed that. We are out in front. Even though we could run the risk of potentially running into a double play, that is not deep enough to get 62 speed home. Ron is a little underneath it, but that one for sure will get us home with 62 speed. He actually gets a good route to the ball, gets around it, and actually makes it a lot closer than I thought it was going to be at home plate. But we are up 3-0. to zero. Horns ball. Oh, my God. I may have to move Hornsby up a little bit in the lineup. The dude absolutely matches. Does have a little bit of speed and can avoid the double plays. But also, it is kind of a nice thing to have him a little bit lower to continue rallies if we ever start them. And he's going to go ahead and bleed that one in. We were definitely underneath that. So we're going to have first and third, two down. Getting an extra run here will be important. 1-0 the count for Andrew McClutchin. This dude does damage versus lefties. And he continues it with a smoke single into left. We get ourselves now a 4-0 lead in the first inning. All right, so that base hit brings up our pitcher, Justin Verlander. If he gets the hit, we might have ourselves an absolutely marvelous inning with Tony Gwynn right behind him. 
and will that go ahead and get over the second baseman's head we did chase a bad pitch i got a little impatient but again we at least got four runs that inning six hits first pitch to hornsby we're going to throw a change up over the heart of the plate thankfully that was the right pitch to go to considering he did do an early check swing so we're going to follow that up with a 12-6 also right down the middle O2 count we're gonna blow that fastball in we get it by him for strikeout number one i kind of miss pudge being in my lineup i really do and he might bleed that in over cal cal show me why we picked you over pudge obviously i get that they're not the same position but we're doing the remember the difference between ron jeremy and pudge and ron jeremy and cal ripkin one two the count we're gonna go ahead and go right back to that fastball up and in that just missed that was an absolutely beautiful take and we now make a mistake throw a change up over the plate and get lucky all right let's get this inning started off well again with tony gwen Tony, please tell me. All my home runs with Tony Gwynn are lefty, lefty crime. I don't get what makes him better against lefties. All right, best hitter in the game for me, and it's not even close. And we just missed a great pitch to hit. We got on top of it for out number one. Cal hitting 400 for us so far with one home run, 10 RBIs. Can he continue his success? And... I mean, that's well hit, well struck, but right to the right fielder. This inning has gone by a little bit quicker than the first inning. Can Frank go ahead and drop an absolute nuke? Frank gets it down the line. That's not a nuke. That What that's going to be is a single. He is way too slow. All right, three, two, two outs. You already know we're going to go ahead and set Frank and get a pitch to hit. Willie is all over that one. There's no mistake in that one being absolutely murdered it is now seven to zero madabum only lasted an inning in two thirds rick is gonna go ahead and bring out edwin diaz i'm pretty sure we have a 3-0 count if i'm not mistaken with hornsby on deck let's see if we're just gonna take all the way he throws a get me over oh we check come on there we go all right so we get ball four will mr hornzilla carry us to a victory not with that swing horns ball gets a fastball up and in demolishes it and if i'm being a little honest i might have been a tad bit out of the zone but nonetheless it's nine to zero mccutcheon is all over that one but the line out it was long overdue 2-1 to eddie matthews we're gonna throw a 12-6 that hangs on us so much that could have been something really bad so i'm okay with giving up a single if anybody's used this lou brock let me know in the comment section down below do you think i should do a debut of this card do you think he's got a lot of pop let me know what your opinions are on lou brock repeat of the 2-2 count pretty sure we've been in this situation four or five times you know what make it five or six we're gonna repeat it as well we're gonna throw a fastball miss our spot terribly make it seven times that we are repeating the 2-2 count we're gonna change it up throw a 12-6 miss our spot so we at least get a different count 3-2 we're just gonna throw a fastball repeat of the 3-2 count we're gonna go ahead and throw the same pitch again hopefully that is not that all right so we're gonna be giving up a double maybe even an rbi here that gets cut off pretty well by mccutcheon so second and third one down all right let's throw a dirty pitch that's gonna be a good 12-6 he's out in front that is gonna get one run in so a man on third with 99 speed and only one out i'm gonna throw a slider to frank he's gonna be out in front if that if he was not 99 speed I might have actually gone home because that should have been an easy out, but with 99 speed, I'm just going to take the guaranteed out. We're going to go ahead and back that up now. 12-6. Let's hit a spot. Come on. That's that's not terrible, but uh, yeah, no, it, it was pretty terrible. Are we going to rob it? McCutcheon. Oh, my God. All right, so it is now 9-3. to three. He's getting some of his runs back. Yeah, no, absolutely. We missed our spot there. That, that was a 12-6 right down the heart of the plate. Justin Verlander is not really hitting his locations today. Oh, one, we're going to go and throw that slider. We hit our spot, and I got to be honest, he is all over that one. That is an unfortunate line out to kill his rally. We're up nine to three. Let's at least get those three runs back. Rick brings out Rob Nen to face Justin Verlander. Obviously, last inning, he used his pitcher. That was his very first batter. He took him out. So Rob Nen comes in to face Verlander. Will Verlander win? Will it bleed? It does not. Tony Gwynn has been doing much better for us. At one point, he was hitting low 300s. He's almost now all the way up to the batting average of 400. Tony does it again. Another solo shot. His first home run. 
versus a righty. I'm telling you, now that I'm getting a hang of this card, he absolutely mashes. Robbie is going to bleed that one in. We were totally out in front of that splitter. That was a great pitch, but RNG Jesus was on our side that time. All right, go back to what was working for me yesterday. Look off speed, adjust fastball, and that that worked for us. We hit it hard. Um, he definitely didn't need to lay out for that one. So it ends up being a base hit for Cal Rifkin, and that would have been a line out. Frank, but dude, we, we didn't get our hands in enough. We had the right timing, but our PCI just wasn't there. So first and second, two outs. Full count to Willie Mays. Will he be able to come in clutch for us? And dude, that was a great pitch to hit. We did slam our PCI down. It's going to be a routine fly out to center field. We got one run back that inning, but we are still up 10 to 3. All right, so here is Mr. Horn's ball. We throw a fastball yet again right down the middle. So we give up a single to right field. Hopefully, we can turn that into a double play. If we throw a good cutter, we'll get him to roll over. And, you know, essentially, we got what we wanted. It just wasn't on the ground. That's one out. All right, we're going right back to that pitch. Oh, dear. We missed, dude. Freelander, you've only given up three runs, but you are going to find yourself on the bench real soon if we keep throwing it over the middle of the plate. 2-2 two -two the count. We're going to go in and get this fastball in on the hands. Blow it by him. We are three runs away from a mercy. Will it happen? The goose is loose facing Ron Jeremy. Who has the better mustache? Probably Ron. One, two, the count to Ron Jeremy. Will Ron the Don be giving Goose a mustache ride? And it's well struck, but he does have his own Cal Ripken over at shortstop. Horns baloney. Horns baloney. Lines out to left. All right. That was a slurve right down the meat we just did not get under it enough will mccutcheon get himself a solo shot that is crazy i thought that was like 480 feet must have been way too high oh two the count to lou brock we didn't score any runs that inning as unfortunate as that is we do get ourselves a strike out there but we did hit the ball hard not every inning is it always gonna fall one one the count to enos slaughterhouse if you know you know we get ourselves a weak line out to third base jam them up two down all right o2 we're gonna throw that fastball up and away that's a good spot that is an absolute dot for a strike out i think that's the third one but that is definitely out number three we're gonna go ahead and leave verlander in for the rest of this game see if he could get us a base hit man if it was anybody else it's probably a tank oh why did we swing that Bad decision by me. We were definitely late. That is out number two. We need to get a run here. Robbie, don't be a line out. No, no, bud. We were all over that one. At least that was a better swing compared to the other two. All right, first pitch to Willie. That is an absolutely horrific slider. Again, common theme for the last couple even YouTube videos over the heart of the plate. One, one, the count. Let's actually hit a spot here. And by hit a spot, I mean miss it again over the heart of the plate. So how about this time, Verlander? You got it in you, bud. Control of the gods. Control of the gods leads to a late hit. All right, you know what? It's going to happen. He's got to be thinking we're going to go right back to that fastball. Let's get that cutter well out in front. Read him correctly. I was hoping he wasn't going to be that far out in front, so we would have gotten a double play. Throw a 12-6. Again, he's out in front. I'm getting what I want, these kind of late and early swings, but they haven't manufactured this so far, this inning anyways, into the outs that I'm looking for. 1-1 one, one the count. We're going to throw a good cutter. That's a good cutter. He's out in front. Step on third uh maybe now nah, even if we threw it to second he probably would have been safe at first so not too much we could have done there here's cal oh dude all right that's probably verlander's last inning we probably thrown out of the 72 pitches 20 of them have been over the heart of the plate cal ripkin is now hitting 412 for us like i said i've been really enjoying this card i've gotten used to his swing his swing isn't terrible it's not what i'm getting at it's just his leg kick for me is a visual uh throw off as he hits it hard right to the third baseman so far these last two innings we haven't gotten things to fall for us yet one one the count to frank schlong dong frank schlong dong is not gonna go yard damn it usually when i give him these weird nicknames he hits one 5,000 feet we did all our damage in the first three innings and then in the last three innings we've been held super super quiet 
Unfortunately, I'm going to be honest. I was hoping Mike Trout would have gone yard on us. That way it could have been super excited for Mike Trout. We're going to get this slider inside. We're going to have a quick hook on Justin Verlander. And by quick hook, even though that wasn't necessarily his fault on the hit, we're going to be taking him out. We're probably going to go over to Osuna now. So we're bringing out Osuna to face Eno Slaughterhouse. He hits it fairly well, probably a little bit underneath. Routine fly ball to Willie Mays in center field. We now have two outs. Let's get out of this. All right, we're throwing a dot of a cutter. He takes it all the way. Oh, one the count. I see you taking that step. We're going to go ahead and do our own slide step. We throw a slurve a little bit low. Following that, you know what? If you want to steal, you go ahead and steal. We're going to get that two seam inside. And again, we give up that bloop right behind first base. Nothing we can do. All right, we're going right back to it. Two seam inside. This time, no bloop behind first base. We're going to go the easy way to second. We're out of the inning. We need three more runs for this mercy. Let's go get it. Ron does not do that. And ever since we put him at catcher, you can see on that scoreboard, he was only hitting 138. He hasn't done too well for us behind the dish. But even just like Tony Gwynn, I kind of just expect at some point it will turn around. Horns ball, please get through the left side. It does not. We're be uh, what? All right, go back to it. We're sitting off speed, reacting fastball. We got a slider over the heart of the plate. Unfortunately, we were just a tad underneath it. We didn't get any runs this inning either. All right, oh, and the count. We're gonna throw that change up low and away. Got him out on his front foot. Following that, you know what? We're going to go ahead and feed it right back in. Two seam inside. He is a little late, but Robbie's got the range out number one. Oh, and the count. We haven't shown off that slurve. And maybe that was a good thing because he absolutely was all over that one. Oh, to the count. Oh, my God. What is with these pitches? We keep missing our spot. It just might not be a good day for us pitching with pick anyone. But we got lucky. That was a line out to left. Two on the count to Tony. He is not happy. He didn't get a base hit his last time up. Maybe just a tad underneath it. Nothing has fallen these last five innings. Robbie shoots that one in the gap. And again, if you don't know, you should know by now, Robbie is by far my best statistical hitter on this team. I don't know about his slugging percentage, but he is hitting almost 440 now. Cal, Cal is all over that one. Please tell me he got all of it. Of course not. Of course not. He didn't. It's a D fly out to left field. Let's just go shut it down. End the game right here. Oh, one the count to count Ripken. We throw a curveball. Guess again where that pitch location is. It was right down the middle. Okay, this is a card I don't think I've seen at all this year. Not once, not ever. He brings out Mike Piazza, and we are throwing pitches over the heart of the plate again. Just get that fastball inside. That's a good pitch. Go to the count. Get that fastball upstairs. And will Willie make a play? He does not. Obviously, we have the seven-run lead. I was going to take the gamble and see if we were going to make an absolutely amazing play. Ends up being a triple, which is no harm. If it was going to be a double, a base hit scores them anyways. 0-1. We're going to go in and throw that fastball up and away. It gets the job done. So we end up winning this game. 10 to 3. Today's player of the game was none other than Tony Gwynn. Two home runs, which ended up all being solo shots. Robbie Alomar does what Alomar does. Three for five, two doubles. Hornsby, two for four, a home run. And Willie Mays, one for four with a home run as well. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And of course, I will say it again. Check out Rickster Ghost. His link will be in the description down below. Cool guy, great guy. Go check him out.